taking action after a whistleblower nurse who raised concerns at a Littleton nursing home died over the weekend. Maria Cryer left her job at the nursing home because she said the conditions there weren't safe. As WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, everyone on staff is now being tested. She was an amazing woman. Maria Cryer's relatives say she was an angel. She was so giving. Um, like, all she ever did was give. They say she spent a lifetime caring for others. And when the nurse at the embattled life care center of Neshoba Valley fell victim to coronavirus after caring for elderly residents with the same disease, she knew something was wrong. She pretty much was just saying how it was ridiculous that she didn't know that she was exposed until pretty much after she had caught it. She is a hero. I mean, she was the, you know, the one of the healthcare workers at Life Care of Neshoba Valley who blew the whistle, uh, frankly, on on the corporate leadership. Congresswoman Lori Trahan says Cryer criticized management for keeping employees and residents' families in the dark about an outbreak at the facility where 14 people have now died. She knew that they weren't given the information that they needed uh, to protect themselves and protect uh, the people that were in their care. Massachusetts like State Representative Governor James Arciero is calling for the Attorney General to investigate. There was a reluctance that we were hearing from our first responders, from nurses like Maria, uh, that uh, management was, was, was not interested in, in having all the employees tested. And to, to me, that's unacceptable. As far as the accusations that management here kept people in the dark, a spokesperson here at the Life Care Center tells us that residents, families, and staff were notified one day after the first COVID-19 patient was transferred from here to the hospital. In Littleton, Christina Hager, WBZ News.